Good afternoon, Gail Howarth with Sandhill Cranes of the Lake House. Did you ever have a party and the guest of honor didn't show up? Well, that is sort of what has happened today. Um, it's Billy's fourth birthday, and I thought we would have a big celebration with extra seed at the house, but that's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen because Billy and Rosebud are up to something that I didn't expect today. In fact, they are in the picture, but they're out here uh, kind of at the end of this point. And I believe that they've just laid their eggs. This is really great news on several levels, not just that they laid their eggs, but the location of their nest is different than it was before. It's surrounded by water. And now if they have any predators that are coming for those eggs that are by uh, land, they'll actually be able to hear them because they'll be splashing in the water. They'll still have to be concerned with what's happening from the sky, but uh, sandhill cranes are fierce fighters in the sky. They can jump straight up, and uh, I think we're going to have a lot more success with them right out there. But as I was saying, it is Billy's birthday, and he was born on April 21st, 2018 to Bud and Lydia. There was another colt born that day as well, and they were named after the weather. It was extremely cold and it's snowy, and so they were named Crystal and Jack Frost. Now Jack Frost didn't survive overnight. The weather was bitter, and while sandhill cranes are able to, adults are able to withstand the extreme weather, the babies, they're just not prepared for it. So I think that that's why he didn't make it. But Crystal survived and thrived. And what a joy Crystal was to me that first year. She was the strongest, bravest, most athletic, and precocious little bird. She was so graceful that I thought of her as a ballerina. She would tickle me by walking over the tops of my feet as I got seeds out for her and her family. Uh, never before had that happened. Some other things that she did that were uh, funny were uh, she would knock on the back door, but instead of knocking like her mother taught her, uh, Lydia would bang on the door. And anywhere you were at in the house, you could hear Lydia. But Billy would just uh, lightly peck at the door and slide her beak across the door. Now you may have noticed that I just called Crystal Billy and Billy Crystal. It gets very confusing. But the first year, I thought surely that Crystal was a girl. Um, no boy could ever be that cute. But uh, apparently I'm wrong. So another thing that she had going on was that she had this amazing friendship with a goose that came to our yard. And the goose's name was Rudy. And uh, no matter what Bud and Lydia did, they could not keep these two apart. Uh, so Rudy was not just Crystal's friend. Uh, Rudy was also a protector. Oftentimes the adults would fly off perceiving some threat out here on the marsh. And they're very territorial. So they fly out, address the issue, and then come back. But it's incredibly nerve-wracking as a human to watch as these little bitty helpless colts uh, run in circles and peep, 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 and they're just so anxious because mom and dad aren't here, or they run into the tall grass. Sometimes they run into the tall grass so far that they have a hard time uh, being reunited with their mom and dad. Mom and dad have to call and call and call before these guys will come back out from for their parents. But in this year, uh, Rudy would run right over to Crystal keep Crystal company and safe. And so an incredible friendship there. Now, a few other things about Crystal was that she flew before any of the other colts that I've ever seen. That's because she was athletic and strong. And another thing is that she also had a red head before she left for migration. And I've only seen that one other time, and it was with one of um, Billy's uh, children uh, just last year. Um, now, 
I still didn't know Billy was a boy the following year. In 2019, Lydia was injured and was not capable of uh, laying on the nest, laying on her eggs, or raising her colts. And it was interesting because Crystal and Bud actually laid on those eggs and tried to rear the colts, Hans and Solo. It didn't work, but they tried. And it wasn't until 2020 that I actually understood that Billy was a boy. He showed up at the beginning of migration and he had a new bird with him. And uh, remember, I still think that Billy is Crystal and I keep trying to figure out if that's Bud, but it was not Bud and I've not seen Bud um, since the summer of 2019. But what he had was a wonderful partner that we've now call Rosebud. But clearly I needed to change Billy's name from Crystal to something else. We called him Billy Crystal for a very long time and now we've shortened it to Billy. Well, I hope you're enjoying the Sandhill Cranes of the Lake House. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you like this program, then please subscribe. Share it with your friends who love animals or birds or just uh, the story of the Sandhill Cranes of the Lake House. Thanks so much. Till next time.